I would never do anything to purposely, physically, or mentally harm any animal. Uh, what? What? You literally, we have... What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is unlike anything I've ever done before. It was supposed to be a fun Q&A, but I saw something on Twitter and I decided to postpone the q and I'm not even gonna talk about it for the rest of the video, but I'm postponing it until another day. Anyways, this video is about a girl named Brooke. She's a YouTuber, she's got 340,000 subscribers, and she accidentally uploaded a video where she is abusing or mistreating her dog. It's unclear whether it's actually abuse. The dog, truthfully, the dog doesn't seem like he was hurt, but we don't know what else she does off camera, right? So she was at the very least mistreating the dog. Uh, special shout out to Keemstar because I only saw this video because I saw his tweet and I thought like I have to talk about this as someone who loves dogs. Admittedly me and my dog beef a lot but I don't beat the shit out of him like she did to her dog. But anyway she tweeted out an apology. I read the first paragraph and I said this looks like a dog shit apology. No pun intended. So I'm just gonna read the apology and just give my thoughts on it. Let's get into it. So the first thing she says is to everyone who has been commenting on my social media as of recently blah 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 anything I say isn't gonna blah 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 just bullshit. She's obviously gonna try and defend herself to make herself look less evil because she looks like a pretty shitty person in that video. Uh, anyways, she says, first off, I want to address the uncut footage. On the day in particular that the video was filmed, and actually this past week, things in my outside life have been less than exceptional. So right off the bat, it sounds like she's saying, uh, my life is tough, so I take it out on my dog, which is not the best, uh, line of defense in my opinion, but We'll continue reading and see what, what she's trying to say here. She says, I am not going to play the victim card or anything of that sort. She's basically saying, I'm going through some stuff in life, so I've been hitting my dog while I'm filming. But I'm not going to play the victim card, but also, can you just hold on to that? for me, please. It's literally a victim card. I'm not gonna feel sympathy for her when she's manhandling her dog as a way to cope with her frustrations in her own life. The dog has nothing to do with that. Why is she taking it out on the dog? Invalid excuse. But I do want to point out that I am rarely as upset as what was shown in the footage. That doesn't even matter. She, we saw her hit her dog. You don't just hit your dog and be like, I never get like this. <laughs> what can I say, you know? Like that, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter how often you get mad. If I f strangle a baby and I say, oh, I never do this. This is like, I never get like this. Okay, cool, You, st I still strangled that baby. It's the same thing with the dog. You beat the shit out of your dog and you're saying, I rarely do this. Okay, cool, but you did it. You only need to do it once for it to be, one time is too many times, you know? The bubbly, happy-go-lucky Brooke that you often see in my videos is typically an accurate representation of me, but it's obvious that I'm playing up my mood in this video when I'm clearly actually frustrated. Again, she's not playing the victim card, but she's like normally really happy, and in this video, she's clearly frustrated. That's really sad, Brooke. We're, we're all really sorry for you. I feel so sorry for her. She's the victim here. That being said, this does not justify me yelling at my dog in the way that I did. And I'm fully aware of that. Th then why even say it? Why even mention the fact that you're upset? That's, you're saying that as a way to like, guys, I know how I acted was wrong, but I was upset. And then you say, but it doesn't justify anything. Okay, cool, so don't even say it. Just say sorry. You don't need to make excuses and then say these excuses aren't excuses. L like. Again, it doesn't make any sense. Should I have gotten as angry as I did in the video? No. Should I have raised my voice and yelled at him? No. She skips over the, should I have physically hit my dog? No. She doesn't even mention that. Should I have gotten as angry? No. Should I have raised my voice? No. No mention of hitting him. Cool. However, when my 75 pound Doberman is jumping in my face with his mouth open, I do, as a dog parent, have to show him that this behavior is unacceptable. But I want to make it known, regardless of what my dog does, I should not have acted the way that way towards him. She doesn't even say fully what she did. We all know what she did. She gets physical with that dog, and it is not mentioned here, because she's probably disgusted by it, but owning up to your mistakes, that's what people value in an apology, not whatever the fuck this is so far. I want to clarify that I am not a dog abuser or animal abuser in any way, shape, or form. This is just funny. This is just funny. We have a video of her mistreating, borderline abusing her dog, uh, and she has the nerve to just be like, but I'm not a dog abuser. I just... I abuse my dog one time. I never get like this. I'm just really frustrated, and it was one time. Like, 
Okay, Brooke. Sure, man. Sure. Anyone who has witnessed or heard true animal abuse will be able to clearly see that my dog in no way, shape, or form was hurt by any action that I displayed in this video. I know people are going to say, you don't know how he really feels, and this is true. Okay, that was a, that was a mouthful. So she says, anyone who has witnessed or heard true animal abuse will be able to clearly see that. Now she's saying, listen guys, you've seen the news stories where owners like chain their dogs to poles and they don't feed them for weeks. I didn't do that, so I'm not an animal abuser. Animal abuse, like many things, is a spectrum. There's beating the shit out of your dog on camera, and there's starving your dog for two weeks. They're both abuse, one is just way worse. But she's comparing what she did to extreme things to make herself look better. Again, <laughs> This is, this is an awful apology so far. My dog in no way, shape, or form was hurt by any action that I displayed in this video. I know people are going to say, you don't know how he really feels, and this is true. But if he was audibly and physically in pain, it would be a different story. Okay, so that is kind of a valid point. He didn't look like he was in pain. But again, this was a one minute video. This was on video, first of all. We have no idea how she treats her dog off camera. This is just what we can see when she's recording her video about her dog that she claims to love. That's Meh, I don't really know how I feel about that. Now, she is right though. If he was like screaming in pain and she kept on going, this is 100% abuse and totally different. Right now, it's probably 70% abuse and 30%. She just loves her dog and just got angry one time only while she was recording her video and then uploaded it like a fucking idiot. Anyways, I also did not spit on my dog, but I understand how that could look like I did. This is the only valid point she's made so far and yeah, she probably didn't spit on her dog. So, good job. One point for Brooke. Did I get in his face and take unnecessary actions towards him? Yes, I did. So here we go. Now is where she's admitting to hitting her dog. But she doesn't actually say it. She just says unnecessary actions, which is code for getting physical with my dog. It's tricky wording. Again, another key component of apologies is full disclosure and just being honest. Not using tricky words or lying or making excuses. She'll learn one day. This is probably her first apology, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about her. I just know she <laughs> is not clearly not a dog abuser. That's all I know. Did I spit on my dog? No. Okay, so she's really reinforcing the fact that she didn't spit on her dog. Cool. Good for you. My family and I are in the process of getting him training. The training that I have been looking at for him is very expensive because it'd have to be one-on-one -on -one with a trainer. Ever since he was attacked at the dog park, he isn't okay with being around other dogs. He sticks to me like Velcro if he is in the presence of another dog, even a little chihuahua. I just can't see him getting what he needs from a group training environment. That being said, I know I personally can learn more effective techniques to get his energy out and keep him disciplined as well. I don't really know what the point of saying this is. Sure, yeah, you you can get your dog some training, but it you don't ha just don't hit him. It's super simple. Just don't ever hit your dog. This seems pretty irrelevant. Uh, yeah, you definitely can learn more effective techniques to get his energy out and keep him disciplined. Just don't physically attack your dog. It's you know, pretty simple. Anyone who knows me personally knows I have an immense love for animals, including my own. Now, again, I'm not painting her as like a huge animal abuser, but it just is funny that when people are found to be abusers, you know, they have friends who are like, oh, I had no idea. If you're abusing your animal, yeah, we don't expect everyone to know about it. The point is that we have video footage of you abusing your animal. So saying like, oh, everyone knows I don't abuse animals. No, they just, the truth is that they just don't know that you abuse animals. But anyways, that's assuming she does this a lot. Again, we don't, I don't really know anything. All I know is what I saw from the video, but I know that if you're doing something like this on camera, you probably do it off camera and it doesn't seem like it just happened one time just because. I would never do anything to purposely, physically or mentally harm any animal. Uh, what? What? You literally, we have a video, video evidence of you purposely, physically harming your animal. What? <sighs> this apology fucking sucks. <sighs> We literally have video proof and I'm sorry that I'm laughing This is just so fucking funny because it's so bad We literally have video proof of you physically harming your animal and not even just any animal your animal that you own Who trusts you and that is fucked up again? I should not have yelled at him or have been as physically aggressive as I was she finally admits to the physical aggression Thank you little too late in my opinion I've already chalked this up to a shitty apology and I'm fully aware of that he was not hurt nor has he ever been Purposely hurt by me. I know I'll be in many future situations where he's being physical But I will not respond this way again. So pointing out that he's not hurt We don't really know but it, it seems like he wasn't hurt saying that she's aware that this will happen again And she will not respond this way again. I've already chalked this up to a shitty response, but I do like that 
part. So good for you. I hope you are a woman of your word. Family or friends that have spent any amount of time with Sphinx and me, that's an awesome name. Completely irrelevant, just saying. Love the name. Hate the apology. Know that we have a trusting, loving relationship. All he wants to do is be by my side, cuddle with me, and be around me, which I love. My love for him is exponential and infinite, and I do everything I can in my day-to-day -day life to ensure that he is living as happily as he can. And this, I hate that. I, how can you say your love is exponential and infinite, and then when you're having a bad day, you physically attack your dog. It makes no sense. It's such a fucked up mentality. You don't exponentially and infinitely love something that you physically abuse. It's just like people. You know, you have an abusive husband and he abuses his wife. Oh, but I love her, I love her. But you're abusing her. You don't, don't claim love for something while you're abusing or mistreating that same thing. You are ruining the word love. You don't love something that you mistreat or abuse. Simple as that. Maybe you do, but you don't have infinite love for that, whatever it is. Absolutely not. You do not No. I'm sorry that my actions in that particular moment did not reflect that. Yeah, in that particular moment. You mean those particular moments because it wasn't just a one-time thing. It was like three or four times in the span of that one-minute video. We, we don't know how she treats her dog on a day-to-day, -day, especially when the cameras aren't rolling. She did this while she was recording herself like a fucking idiot, which tells me that she regularly mistreats her dog like this on camera and always edits it out and forgot to this time. This was probably not just a once in a blue moon thing. About my Twitter, I deactivated my account earlier in the day. When I went to open it, I was met with an excess of notifications of people telling me I messed up, a bad person, that I'm going to hell, that I belong in jail, etc. For my own mental health and no other reason besides that, I didn't think it was necessary for me to be reading those comments at that time. Okay, she's just, this is not an apology at this point. She's just like explaining why she did whatever she did. I don't even know what she's talking about. I don't care either, so whatever. Next. Lastly, I don't want to make this statement seem like it's me defending myself because that is not my goal. Um, okay, well, you need to delete this and rewrite it because this is 90% you defending your actions with shitty excuses. So, yeah. I do want to point out what actually happened, though. No, no. We know what actually- we all saw what actually happened. Every single person who saw that video knows exactly what happened without any bias or any misleading. We saw what we saw, and that's- it's as simple as that. My intent by explaining the situation is to give those of you who are rightfully angry with me the explanation that you deserve. I'm getting my dog into training, and I'm looking at ways to improve how I personally train him at home. Yes, because again, physically mistreating your dog when he's annoying because he has PTSD, that's fucked. That is absolutely fucked. I am sorry that you guys had to watch that footage and were upset by it, and I'm sorry to my dog for raising my voice and acting aggressively. So here we go, the apology. It is way too late at this point for her to say sorry. She's already spent all this time trying to subtly validate what she's been doing and then say like, but I'm, it's not an excuse. I'm, I'm not buying it. In my heart, and from the words of the people that spend the most time with me, I know that I am a great dog mom, but not perfect. That I spoil him in the best ways. That he gets all the treats he could ever want. You gotta be kidding. I'm the best mom. I spoil my dog, and I give him so many treats. And sometimes I beat the shit out of him on camera. But it only happened once because I'm going through things in life. And it definitely never happens off camera ever. And all my friends who would have no idea if I beat my dog up off camera can confirm that. Sorry. Like what? This is an, oh, it's not done. Perfect. <sighs> And that the Amazon Prime mailman is probably tired of delivering packages of dog toys to my house. Oh, and she buys her dog tons of toys. What an amazing dog mom. Again, this does not make my actions in the footage okay, but I'm just explaining what my day-to-day -day life is really like, whether you believe me or not. On a serious note, I love you guys, and I want to thank you for pointing out things that you think are wrong and discussing them, because the world needs more of that. I hope you give me the chance to prove that these statements about myself do align with my actions. All of my love. Of Brooke Hoots. So this, in my opinion, was an awful apology where she said she wasn't gonna play the victim card and then slipped us the victim card. She constantly made excuses for her actions, but then said they weren't excuses. I'm just explaining myself. Just all in all, I just want the world to know that I don't accept this apology. But if you do, that's fine. It's whatever. But uh, this is a joke that I bet has been used a lot, but I'm gonna use it too because I think it's funny. Brooke, if YouTube deletes your channel, I'm very, very confident Twitch would love to have you. You seem like you'd be make a great Twitch streamer. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. This is my first time making a video like this. Uh, let me know if you liked it or if you disliked it. Peace. Really bad as glory, so I promise I ain't playing. Ay. 
Don't disturb me while I'm praying Shorty trying to chill, she hit my line like what you saying Yeah, don't disturb me while I'm praying Ay. 